Hey there, Pisces. Uh, welcome to your reading for the week of January 8th. I wasn't ready yet to do your video because I didn't want to use that deck, but here we go. Uh, so, welcome. This week, definitely check out astrojar.com for more awesome readers and astrologers. And uh, let's get going and see what comes up for you this week. Had a feeling it was going to be a good week, and it definitely is off to a good start here. I'll say that. <clears throat> and, um, yeah. I would say, especially if you've started something new, um, you know, most people have been getting messages that say that they need to start something new, but I think you probably already have. So uh, this is a very good card for that, Ace of Diamonds. It's a very good card for money. Uh, I do think money will be increasing, of course. Um, if you are a Pisces, depending on when you were born, you might have uh, Saturn uh, squaring Mars, and that will be stopping uh, tomorrow. Uh, well, if you're watching this on the 8th, uh, it'll be stopping on the 9th. Um, again, that's only going to be for some of you, and uh, I think that will be a very welcome, you know, opening energy for you if you happen to have that in your chart. Um, but I feel like for all Pisces that this is a good time of uh, opening up and being able to do things that you've wanted to do for quite some time. A very good card for money as well. Next, you have the Queen of Hearts. A very good card for, again, birthing something new. This is a card of the Mother. Uh, this card also represents Pisces as well, so you're showing up here in a very strong position. Uh, but it can represent uh, literal birth, having a baby, and it can also just represent, again, start birthing something new, birthing a new idea. I think for most Pisces, you know, it's birthing some sort of new idea, starting some sort of uh, new beginning uh, at this time, for sure. Next, you have the Three of Hearts. I always say this is just an indicator card to me. It just indicates that things are moving in the right direction. Um, you know, I don't attach a meaning to the Three of Hearts. Again, to me, it just says, you know, if there, if there were any negative cards here, I would say that those cards are definitely going to be pushed towards the positive. Now, you have all positive cards this week, so, you know, I really, you know, I would say it's just going to be an extra positive week at this time. The one thing that I will say about this card is that it can represent feeling a lack of love, feeling a lack of, like, you want a relationship for those of you that are single. And I would say if that's the case, then you just need to get out. I think... You know, the thing about Pisces at this time is if we want love, I think we have to go get it. We have to, like, literally, you know, go out in public to get it. I've been saying this for months, and, um, you know, I'm going to try to stop saying it, but really I think it's going to be true for probably quite some time. I think, you know, the, the name of the game as far as love is concerned for Pisces is going to be the, you know, the squeaky wheel gets a grease, so to speak. So definitely something to think about. Ten of Clubs, needing to meet more people, needing to surround yourself with the right people. You know, I've told this story before. I was sitting here uh, on Thanksgiving, had a bunch of friends over, and, um, you know, some of them I was just like, you know, these people don't really kind of meet up with my goals. Some, You know, some of them. And it's, it, you know, it wasn't that I was saying anything negative about them, and it's not like I'm going to stop hanging out with my friends. But uh, what it does mean is that some of them are overly negative, or some of them just, um, you know, just aren't at the same place that I am in life. And so I might be limiting or I might, um, you know, stop completely. Some of them that are just like way too negative, I might completely stop hanging out with. Um, and again, I think Pisces will probably be making those decisions. Uh, Saturn and Capricorn, you know, to me, Saturn and Capricorn has a lot to do with friends, uh, no matter where it falls, really. Um, and, you know, I think, but uh, especially in, for Pisces, I think that it can definitely represent Friends, cutting friends away, deciding who's important, who's not important. And again, this isn't a negative thing. It's uh, to help you move forward. This is a card, this is one of my favorite cards in the deck. You know, it's a card of great progress, moving forward, and uh, becoming more successful. So, you know, I think it's all good stuff here. It's also a card of protecting yourself, though. Uh, and, you know, so I, I mean, I think that's where that comes in of cutting people out of your life who, you know, kind of are maybe overly negative or just not a good person to be around. So uh, definitely something to think about. Next, you have the Seven of Clubs. Um, uh, you know, I would say definitely stay out of your head. No more, no negative, speaking of negative, no negative talk. This is a card of feeling like you're stuck in prison. Um, you know, I would say that you've probably recently actually, you know, kind of escaped from this self-created prison in some ways, or at least you've seen how you can escape from, you know, your current situation. Uh, but this is definitely a card of staying positive so that you can keep moving in the right direction. Uh, next, Two of Clubs. Um, you know, I would say for Pisces, it's self-determination. Um, you know, I think Pisces really kind of is, you know, in control of their destiny at this time. And I think you just need to decide, you know, to do things or not do things. And, you know, to me, this is a card of talking to yourself, basically convincing yourself 
that you can do something and needing to do that um, at the same time. You know, it's funny, I've said this before, you know, sometimes I feel, I feel like Pisces probably should not listen to card readers and things like that because, you know, as a Pisces myself, sometimes I think I, you know, I think Pisces can put too much, um, you know, too much thought or too much pressure on the on the esoteric and, you know, can make decision, too many decisions based off of things like readings and things like that, which, you know, I think sometimes can be a negative thing as well. So um, definitely a card of just checking with your, checking with yourself and, you know, kind of need, needing to make your own decisions at this time. And finally, you have the Four of Clubs card of uh, your thoughts being in line with the truth. So again, you already know all the answers. You already know what you need to do to get to where you need to go. But uh, this card just says, you know, keep doing that. Keep thinking. You know, keep just following your gut at this time because it's probably right. But, um, yeah, I think that it's a really good reading. Definitely a reading, I would say, also of independence, of, you know, being very independent at this time and, and like I said, making your own decisions. Um, you, you know, I mean, I, I've definitely noticed a change myself, not to talk about myself here, but, you know, of, you know, no longer, I, you know, I've, I stopped a long time ago, but, um, you know, definitely no longer seeking, like, you know, approval from others. It's not even approval, but just seeking, you know, some sort of external validation. I think Pisces is getting away from that probably. You know, again, I've said this before as well. I think Pisces, pretty much all the water signs are getting stronger, are uh, kind of changing in a lot of ways. So uh, definitely keep going in that direction, but it looks good. So thank you for watching and enjoy your week.